All right. Hey, guys. Let's take another look at problem 17. Um, I had a chance to do this out again, and it's a lot easier than the solution on the problem set leads on. Let's take a look. So basically, we have a cube inscribed in a sphere so that all of vertices touch the sphere. So I've got my blue sphere. I've got my cube inside there. Um, find the surface area of the cube as a function of the radius of the sphere. So the first thing to understand is that if this is the center right here of my sphere, that one of these distances right here is r, and another radius going in this direction would give me another r. The diagonal right here of this cube is actually 2r. If I were to now create a right triangle, now the length of this cube, it's a cube, so all the sides are the same, I'm going to call x. And I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle here because this is a right angle. This must be half of the right angle. This must be half of the right angle because I could essentially form myself a rectangle in there. So you split those in half, you got 45, 45, 90. So this would be, um, this would be x root 2. Root 2 times the side length is the, uh, you know, 45, 45, 90, hypotenuse and leg, um, the, uh, the theorem. So let's go ahead now and figure this out. So we have a right triangle in here, so we're going to use a little Pythagoras. So with Pythagoras, we can simply say that x root 2 squared plus x squared equals this hypotenuse has a distance of 2r, 2r squared. So if we clean this up, this would be 2x squared plus x squared uh, equals 4r squared. We're just trying to get x in terms of r, x in terms of r. So let's see, this would be um, x squared equals 4 thirds r squared, and um, x is equal to 2 over root 3r. All right, so I basically just need the surface area of the cube. Well, that's pretty simple, actually. So the surface area of a cube is 6 x squared. There's six faces. You square the faces, multiply by 6. Um, and x squared is actually right here. So if I multiply 6 times 4 thirds r squared, um, the surface area is going to be 8 r squared. And that's in terms of r, a function of the radius. All right? So that was problem 17. Uh, I hope that was a lot easier. It was certainly a lot easier the second time I solved it. So I hope that makes a lot more sense. Wonderful. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in class on Monday.